Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Brecht and I create videos, uh, how-to videos about YouTube videos, video gear, uh, social media and creating content. Uh, welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm going to talk about the process of creating a YouTube video from the start, generating the ideas and to uploading your video and this is a video uh, especially for people who are new to YouTube that want to create videos but don't have a clue on how to start with creating videos and I'm going to go through the whole process. I'm not going in depth on every still a topic in the process but I create videos about a lot of these subjects already so if you are interested in more videos about creating YouTube videos about video gear about social media so you can promote your YouTube channel as well then please check my channel uh, I will also refer to some of my videos in this video uh, and then you can also find out more and find out more and if you are interested then also please subscribe to my channel so you will be the first one to get notified when I upload a new video and you will be the first one to get to know the tips and tricks that I give on a weekly basis. But let's start with the process of actually creating a YouTube video like this one. Let's start with the first step and that is actually a very obvious a very obvious step in the process and that's actually starting your YouTube channel and when you are starting your YouTube channel it's very important to think about what kind of videos do you want to make, what topics do you want to talk about and how can you stand out from all of the other videos that are on YouTube and actually a lot of people think that they have to uh, make very general videos so that they can attract as many people as they want. I made the same mistake and I feel bad for that now uh, because I wasted so much time on making vlogs that at the end nobody was really watching. So really think about videos with a purpose and think about who's going to watch these videos. But if you want more information about this uh, subject I actually also created a video about starting your YouTube channel in 2019. So uh, I will link it in the description. I will also put a pop-up here so you can go to that video if you're interested in more tips about starting the YouTube channel itself. So now that you have your YouTube channel ready, you know which topics you want to talk about. You actually have to generate ideas in this topic for specific videos and this might also be a bit scary because you might have a lot of ideas and you don't know which ideas to focus on first or maybe you don't have an idea of what kind of videos you make and I actually use a technique that's called the 5 times 5 technique which I also have a separate video about but the main idea is that I focus on five topics that I want to talk about and I actually come up with five ideas underneath that topic so that I will have 25 working titles for videos that I will be working on the next half year. And once you have the idea for the video, because uh, this video is about creating one video, once you have the idea, for instance, for this video, the idea was to create a video about the process of making the video, a uh, YouTube video, I actually do some research on this topic. I obviously, I make videos uh, myself, so I know the process, but I also want to know what other people are telling about the subject so that I get inspired by them. Maybe I even get tips that I didn't know about, but I actually do some research on the topic and then I also know how I can uh, create a structure of the video. Obviously the process, these are simple steps like one, two, three, four, but in some cases your video, you need to think about the structure and to do that, I actually create a mind map. And in this mind map, I will uh, put the main subjects, titles in it, and then I actually go ahead and uh, think about what I want to tell underneath all of these. Some people, they actually script their YouTube videos, they actually make a text and they will know what they are going to talk about. But for me, this uh, feels uh, a bit weird when I know what exactly I'm going to say. I feel that I'm not uh, enthusiastic and not uh, enthusiastic enough. I actually uh, trip over my own words. So for me, it's actually easier to uh, actually improvise 
inside of the topics that I have in my mind that I want to talk about. But this process takes some time and you actually really have to sit down and think about what you're going to talk about in this video so that once you are going to the next step and actually filming the video you actually know what you're going to say because I made a mistake as well I sometimes I want to rush a video I just go sit in front of my camera I start talking about a subject then I keep on rambling and keep on rambling and in the end I talk too much I um, I keep repeating myself over and over again and then the video is actually not interesting at all. So actually giving some structure to your video is a very good idea. And if you are very bad in improvising, then also think about creating a script. Uh, for me this is a bit more natural if I can actually uh, just run through, let my brain going on while I'm filming the video. So that is up to you, but actually do some research and if you actually want more information about the mind map and how I prepare my videos, I actually uploaded a video two weeks ago about how I write blog posts and actually process is almost the same. So please go to that video as well if you want to know more about how I go from idea to actually creating the script or the, the structure of the video that I'm going to talk about. So on to the next step, you have your idea, you have your script or you have your structure that you want to talk about. You actually know what this video is going to be about, what you are going to say. Then it's time to go ahead and start filming. And filming is uh, an important part because otherwise you don't have a video. But it's also good to think about how can I film this. And uh, the, uh, the question that you might have is what kind of camera do I need to actually create videos and actually um, a lot of people might think that it's very uh, they need expensive gear but you can actually start creating YouTube videos with your smartphone. A smartphone is actually uh, has a very good camera most of the new smartphones actually can film in 4k but HD quality is actually enough. If you want to go for a cheaper camera I can actually also recommend this camera which is the Canon SL2 which is around 500 euros, 500 dollars. Uh, it's the SL2 in, in Europe, it's called the 200D. It's a small DSLR camera, it has autofocus which actually makes it very handy to film videos like this when you're talking because the camera actually focuses on your face uh, without you having to worry about that. So actually the camera is an important part of the of the video but that's not the only thing when you are filming uh, because the camera is important you can do it with your smartphone but you also have to think about having good audio and being in a room where it's silent if you are in a room where there is a lot of noise then people are not going to hear what you are saying and I actually also recommend if you want to invest some more before starting you can actually buy a microphone like the Rode video mic which actually makes your audio quality a bit better but that is not needed just start out with your smartphone and start filming like that and actually the quality is quite good um, I'm using a tripod uh, I have some lighting here as well. This is also something that I want to talk about, is the lighting. Um, I actually don't have a very expensive um, lighting kit. I just have a LED light for 25 euros. I'm standing in front of a window and that window will give me enough light on my face not to be too dark, to have heavy shadows. I actually also have a, a light on the ground there to light up the background so I stand out a bit more if I'm wearing a dark colored uh, shirt like I'm doing today. But actually that is also important to think about how you look on the camera. Your appearance is a bit important as well. I had a shave this morning uh, before doing this video. I make sure that my hair is looking all right. I make sure that I'm dressed up for the video. But also think about the room that you're standing in. I know that I'm not I don't have to clean this room, uh, there's a lot of things there that can distract you but I also think that that isn't too much but also think about not leaving something in the background that is really going to distract people from what, they're, what the video is actually about. So these are the main things they were to think about. What camera are you going to use is HD, think about the lighting, uh, 
the, make sure that you don't have heavy shadows in your face make sure that you're lit up so people can actually see you and then also think about the audio quality and the background of your videos something that i do when i'm filming because i don't have a script i actually write down some things of the videos in this part these are actually the different steps i actually write down on a post-it and i stick it uh, on my lens so while i'm making the video i have some notes uh, underneath my camera so that i uh, know what i'm going to talk about next and then you have filmed everything then it's time to start and edit the video and the process of editing is very different depending on which kind of video you are making if you are creating vlogs then you will also create a lot of b-roll which is video in between while you're walking while you go inside the store while you're eating when you're not speaking or maybe if you do a travel vlog you will also uh, show some parts of the city that you're visiting these are actually other steps that you can do this is not in this video but also this video I, I have to edit because I didn't say everything from start to finish in one take I actually took uh, several takes and I will uh, edit them together in a, a software program so this is something that you have to do on your laptop or on your computer you can also do it on your smartphone if you're filming with your smartphone but editing is actually taking the video that you have created and actually cutting the parts that you want to use and sticking them together for a vlog this takes much more time because you have to put layers on top of each other you have to think about what kind of sequences you want to make in this video i don't have to think about the sequences because it's only me talking to you in front of the camera but sometimes if you want to create more of a story editing can be more difficult because you really want to think about which things have to follow up on each other but actually if you had the first step which was actually creating the idea and creating the script if you have that nailed down then editing will be easy because you can go back to your notes that you took before creating the video and actually what you have created and uh, what you have written down you should have filmed as well and you can edit that things together to edit you have to need you need to have a software uh, for that i use premiere pro but it's actually a paid uh, uh, application you can also go for final cut pro which is uh, um, made by apple but there is also some free software that you can use one uh, one very popular one which is actually also quite good is davinci resolve that is actually a very extensive software that you can use you have a lot of things that you can do in there to really make a professional looking video but my, many of the laptops if you have a, a macbook you actually also have iMovie or you also have windows movie maker if you have a windows laptop so these are actually free software where you can start editing videos you also have some apps that you can use like adobe rush uh, which is an app from Adobe which is free to use and you can actually also use that to edit videos editing is something that you have to get used to it's something that you have to get good to add but actually there are so many tutorials so don't be afraid to start editing it's something that you will learn and love to enjoy because when editing you can actually uh, create more uh, storytelling in your videos as well and if you want to create videos with a lot of b-roll with a lot of scenes then you also need some music I actually have a video about finding uh, copyright free music that you can use for your YouTube uh, videos and I will link it on top of the video and also below in the comments so editing is actually the last step before uploading so the last step is uploading your videos to youtube and you also created already your channel then you just have to drag your uh, video into youtube and it will start uploading and there are some important things to take into consideration and actually if you have created a video like this video i will name it how to make a youtube video though because that is a very simple title and that is something that you have to think about is if you're creating how-to videos it's actually creating videos 
uh, video titles that people are actually looking for because otherwise people won't find it and they won't click it. So really think about your title. If you want to create more entertaining style videos, then think about the title as something that people will click on. Um, you know, people like uh, Casey Nice that they always make a clickbait title so that you will click it and watch the video and sometimes the, the title it has nothing to do with this, what is inside of the video, but it's just to get people clicking so more people will see your video. But the title is so important because uh, you have to think about what will people search for and you can actually use tools like Uber Suggest to actually find out which, uh, which keywords people use to find certain videos and actually think about that to also include those in your subject. Oh, and your title as well. Then you have the description which is also very important. Give some more information about the video. Talk about what the video is about because uh, the algorithm of YouTube will also read the description to get to know more about the, the video itself. You can also use the tech, tech sessions a section below where you can actually put in more keywords, tell YouTube even better what the video is about. So use that functionality as well. And then actually the thumbnail is the last step. Take and make an attractive looking thumbnail where people will click on, which is obvious. I will create, just take a screenshot of myself and I actually will put the title next to it. So people will see the title again and they will see my face and then they can read in the thumbnail as well the title and they will be more likely to click. If you don't have an attractive a thumbnail then you might not be clicked on because people don't trust your video. And that was actually the complete process from start to finishing your video. Uh, there's so many things to tell about but it's starting with the idea, start with the idea and really think about how you can make that idea into a video that people are going to watch that stands out and then just the other parts are doing it. Start filming, start editing, don't be afraid. Uh, if you don't like the video that you filmed, you, the only thing that you will lose is some time that you put into it. But only by doing and creating videos, you will become a better YouTuber. I know that my videos aren't perfect as well. I don't say that my videos are perfect. I'm still learning every day and day again but that's part of the process if you want to become a youtuber is learning how to make better videos how to create more engaging videos and actually also make sure that people will go back to your channel and look from watch more videos and i hope that i have engaged you to look at more of my videos and if you like this video then please give me a thumbs up that will really help me and my channel as well and that in that way more people can see this video and if you like this video and you want to get notified by more videos of me then please subscribe to my channel if you have any more questions I'm more than happy to help you to comment, to, to answer your comments, to answer your questions. So please leave a comment in the comment section below as well, because I really want to talk to you so I can get to know you as well. And maybe if you create your first video, then also leave it in the comments so that I can come, uh, come and check out your video and help, help you with some tips and tricks after watching your video. But I hope you liked this video and if you subscribed then I will see you in my next video. Bye!